Hey, it's your boy Devo from the Lax Fields. Let me grab my notes. I'll update you on what's going on in high school and club action in SoCal. Let's see what we got here. Um, so, um, Devo with the Lax Bunker, Lockdown D. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit of uh, high school and college news recently in Orange County. I did the first two videos as kind of like warm ups to see what people thought. Got some good feedback, so I'm going to try to get more consistent with it. And my man Dana at Big Boom Video has been nice enough to come in and help out. So we're going to talk about him a little bit at the end. Um, so first of all, in college news, I don't know if anybody caught it. I think we're going to have a video clip. Ed Sheehan, uh, Los Al grad, freshman at Ohio State, went two and two against uh, Cornell. Nasty move, just trucked the guy who tried to step to him, knocked him two or three yards back into a slide, had time to fake, multiple fakes, dunk. Uh, kind of knew Ed was gonna come in ready. Saw him over the summer, looked big, obviously hitting the weights, worked on his shooting. Uh, I'm gonna go into uh, CP Christian Pasternak down in San Diego was the man with goalies and shooters. Talk about him at the end, but Ed worked a little bit with him and some of the goalies and multiple other guys. Um, White steps out in front, and goes back behind the net. Again, White, senior, four career games, entering the season, has played all five and picked up his first goal just moments ago. Sheen in front, picks his spot and ties it at 10. Sheen maybe felt a bit surprised he had the time he did in front one-on-one. -on -one. In front of Yerlin, Sheen. He was able to bounce off of Bardwell and Bardwell. Right, um, um, Los Al, uh, I saw them a couple of times. They have a very, uh, very good offense this year. Fun to watch. Uh, they are, uh, had a few nice wins and then had a couple of one goal game losses as well. They were missing guys versus Tesoro. That's never an excuse, but they were. And then against PV, an extremely slow start. But we have a clip, I think Danny's gonna play it, of a fast break. They move the ball extremely well. They have multiple guys on offense that can play. Um, Connor Engel, Luke Gawacki, uh, Ben Posner, uh, Drew Anderson, obviously we've talked about, uh, Matt Caressi. So um, to open the season, they had a great overtime win versus a very good Agora Hills team. They have a lot of good offense as well. So Los Al, a program to watch, uh, and they're a couple of goals away from being undefeated. So as we go along, I think they're a team to watch. Um, happened to catch a couple of Servite games, started out very strong, 3-0, and very well coached program. I think I talked about them in the first video just because I happened to see them at Sandstorm, but a very well coached. What I noticed and a lot of people don't talk about, aside from Coach O'Leary, who's a very good coach, uh, Ryan Dunn is back. He was the head coach at uh, Huntington Beach at Tesoro, played at uh, CDM. So just watching him, I noticed him on the sidelines. They run a very good offense. They were 3-0. A couple of guys on the offensive end to look for there. Ethan Scafidi, uh, he's a football player as well, and James Prado. Um, they were off to a 3-0 start until they ran into two of the top programs, CDM. Uh, they lost to CDM recently. And then on Tuesday, they played St. Margaret's. I caught most of that. St. Margaret's, I believe, is one of the best teams in the state. I don't think you can really deny that. Um, covered them extensively in video one, so I don't want to go too much into the personnel, but they do have three shutouts in five games so far um, for 22. They have lots of offense. They have a very good goalie. So, so far, rolling. One game, if you're watching games, Saturday, they play, play uh, Low Sal. I believe that's at Low Sal, so that's going to be a good one. That is at, at Low Sal. So come on out if you're in the area. It's going to be two good crowds, hopefully. Um, credit to Beckman High School. I've been around the program for a while. 
They had a nice win over Santa Margarita to open the season. I was happy for them. I like Santa Margarita, obviously, as well. But Beckman, for a um, school that does zero recruiting and actually is hurt by recruiting, they lose guys. So not only do they not recruit, they lose guys. Smaller public school, not exactly known for you know, the highest end sports. But in lacrosse, they've been very good. They've had some very nice coaches, Coach Finn, Canoni, the Cole boys. So they've been lucky in that respect. But part of that luck is made because they're just very nice group of people, nice group of boosters. Um, and I noticed at the San Clemente game, this is a shout out, the um, Beckman crowd was just the best I can remember in the 10 years I've been out here in terms of just nonstop positive, m several chants of here we go Beckman. When it was a tie game and it went against them, there wasn't a lot of uh, complaining, there wasn't a lot of yelling at the refs, it stayed positive. Richard uh, for Beckman, I don't even know his last name, was leading the cheers. I told him after the game with a bunch of people, he's in the lead for fan of the year. Uh, last year, we were going to do it with Max Lax, do the Laxies Awards at the end of the year. I think Bab, uh, the dad from Foothill, would have gotten Fan of the Year last year. This year, it's wide open. Richard's in the lead from Beckman. Uh, goalie looked very good. And uh, shout out Justin Chang. He's at Notre Dame. Used to train him a lot for the Lockdown D thing. And that's how I got to know the Beckman people. Again, I've talked about him before. Will not meet a nicer kid uh, than Justin Chang. Um, we're going to try to do... Um, more consistent videos going forward. We're going to shorten them up a little bit. We're going to make them more timely. So again, to shout out, we're going to have some clips on this one to shout out my man Dana, Big Boom, if you're Big Boom, and if your film isn't what you want for your game, or you have a local guy, a kid doing it or whatever, hit Dana up. I've known him for years. He's very good at what he does. So for now, this is your boy Devo, Lockdown D. I'll see you at the fields.